In this video, we're gonna go through a simple and repeatable technique for properly steaming milk for latte art. So we're gonna start off by choosing a suitable jug for the size of drink that we're going to make. And then we're gonna fill it with milk up until the level of the bottom of the spout. So holding the jug in your dominant hand, we're going to stand facing the machine straight on and we're gonna point the jug directly at the machine. We're gonna pull the steam wand out at about a 45 degree angle and we're gonna use the spout of the jug and the steam wand as your two points of contact to completely lock in your position. Position your jug and steam wand so that the tip of the steam wand is directly in the center of the jug and submerged slightly under the surface of the milk. We're then going to tilt the jug slightly so that the steam wand is about a third away from the edge of the jug. And we're gonna place our non-dominant hand on the bottom side of the jug and hold that into place. Any movement that we're gonna do from here is going to be very small and well thought through. We're not gonna be doing any large movements of the steam wand or any different tilting of the jug. Two movements, they're gonna be very slightly lowering the jug and then very slightly raising it back up to this starting position. So with the tip of the wand slightly submerged and off to the center, we're gonna use our non-dominant hand to kickstart the steam process. Having that steam wand off to the side is going to help create a vortex or a whirlpool motion in the milk. And that is going to help us incorporate the air and then break down those bubbles towards the second half of the steaming process. Once we see that vortex motion, we're then going to very slowly and slightly lower the jug. And that is going to raise a little bit of the tip of the steam wand slightly above the surface. And that is gonna let some air in to start incorporating some foam into the milk. Once you feel like you've injected enough air, we're then going to slowly raise the jug back to that starting position, maintaining the same angle and point of contact with the spout and the steam wand. That vortex motion is then going to keep breaking down those bubbles from large pockets of air into tiny microfoam. And that's gonna help create a really delicious texture and a more stable foam for your latte art. During this process, the job of your non-dominant hand is to act as the temperature guide. So milk can only get to about 60 to 65 degrees before it starts burning. And a really easy way of telling when your milk is at that temperature is when the jug is too hot to hold on any longer. So as soon as it becomes too hot for your non-dominant hand to hold on, you're going to remove that hand and immediately turn off the steam. Wait for the steam to fully power down and then you can remove the jug. Give the steam wand a quick wipe down with a damp cloth and then purge a little bit of steam through just to clear any milk or trapped air. If you've got any large bubbles still remaining in the milk that you didn't quite manage to break down, you don't need to worry. Just tap the jug gently on the side of the counter to pop those big bubbles and then swirl the milk together to incorporate. And then you can get ready to pour your latte art. 